Title X of the United States Code lays the foundation for the organization, roles, and duties of the armed forces. Adopted over the years through various legislative acts, Title X establishes the legal basis for the roles, missions, and structure of the U.S. military. Let's break down some of its key sections for a better understanding. Section 101, this is the definition section. It sets the tone by defining terms like secretary concerned, armed forces, and active duty that are used throughout the title. Section 113 establishes the role of the Secretary of Defense. It outlines their responsibilities and powers, ensuring civilian oversight of the military. Sections 3013, 5013, and 8013, these sections respectively establish the roles of the secretaries of the Army, Navy, and Air Force. They delve into the details of each branch's responsibilities and how they should be managed. Section 166, this pertains to the unified and specified combatant commands. It's significant as it establishes how the different branches will collaborate and interact, especially in times of combat. Sections 115 to 140, these sections revolve around the personnel strength and organization. They determine how many individuals should serve in active duty and the reserves, ensuring that we always have a ready and able military force. Sections 401 to 410 delve into the enlistment procedures, rules, and regulations. This includes everything from who's eligible to enlist, to the oaths they must take, and the duration of their enlistment. Sections 431 to 433 and 435 to 437 discuss the commissions, oaths, and appointments of officers. These sections ensure a structured and orderly command within the military. Sections 701 to 716 highlight the allowances and benefits for members of the military. This includes everything from leave to health benefits, ensuring the well-being of our servicemen and women. Sections 2001 to 2015 revolve around the Army National Guard and Air National Guard. Their roles, how they are activated, and their interaction with the regular Army and Air Force are outlined here. Sections 2301 to 2314, these sections focus on procurement. They establish how the military will obtain equipment, services, and more, ensuring that our armed forces are always well equipped. In the upcoming sections and videos, we'll dive deeper into the nuances of each section, highlight landmark cases, and explore how Title X interacts with other U.S. codes and international laws. Title X serves as the backbone of our nation's defense, ensuring the organization and functionality of our armed forces. While this video provides an overview, remember it does not serve as an exhaustive source or a substitute for legal counsel. For detailed inquiries about the U.S. military structure or legalities, always consult with a legal professional. And as always, if you found this content informative, please remember to subscribe, like, and comment below.